Oh, leaping, leaping, wing a ding dong here. Hi, guys, today. So, in the year 1997, how many of you who were millennials remember that year? I assume many of you. And if you were born that year, cool. Yeah, cool. If it was your birthday today, happy birthday, yada, yada, yada. Anyway. 1997. What a year. We had several things like the N64, which I think technically came out in 1996. I think Super Smash Brothers came out in 1997. Let me double check here. Uh. Super Smash Brothers actually came out in 1999. But one thing that did come out in 1997 was the Volkswagen New Beetle. Or as we Americans say it, Volkswagen. Technically it's Volkswagen. Just saying. Anyway, in 1997 the Volkswagen New Beetle came into the market. And it was a huge success. People flocked to it. Especially... I would say baby boomers, or as many teenagers and some millennials call today, okay boomers, they flocked to the new Beetle because of the 1960s. Why is the 1960s so important? Eh, Volkswagen Beetle came out here in America. But anyway, of course it was the hippie dippy car, which is fine. I like the old Beatles, personally, like the 1600. Really like those old Beatles. Mmm. Wonderful. But that said, many, many things when the, well, I should say, the marketing for the 1997 Volkswagen New Beetle was huge. We had video games. We had apparel. We even had Malibu Barbie. Yeah. A 50th anniversary Mar Malibu Barbie Volkswagen Beetle came out. Which, if you're a Barbie collector, hey, try to find one if you can. If you're not a Barbie collector, hey, try to get one for a car collection. I think they're kind of rare. But, not only... I have an itch. Not only did... Video games, special ed editions, of course, all the Barbie and all the... The Beetle wasn't so much a guy car, although I liked the Beetle because of, you know, just the style of it. The marketing for it was huge. Of course, women, they just flocked to it because it was just the cutest little car. And men didn't so much go for it because it wasn't manly. That is until the really sporty stuff came out, like the TDI diesel. And all of a sudden, men's like, yeah, man, I want one of them Beatles, too. So, personally, myself, I was a fan of it from the start because of the aesthetics of it. That said, there was one marketing area that they really excelled at. And if you couldn't afford your own Beetle, well, just get a Beetle radio. This is a new Beetle radio in the most popular color of the Volkswagen Beetle, the Beetle, this red color. Now, if you look at this, it's got some spotting on it. That's probably the plastic degrading after many, many years of sitting in whatever at. It does have headlights on the front. Nice antenna. Not a very long antenna, but it does suffice. It's got brick lights in the back. A 6 volt input and a headphone output. Speakers back here. And if you get a really bright flashlight... Hmm. You could see on the inside of that. I don't know where I put my really bright flashlight. Found it. 
bring on the inside here in a way that you can see I guess you can kind of see inside that not really because I got the ring light of course uh, but there there you go you kind of see the components not really works really well in the dark anyway the radio on this is quite nice actually there was a mirror here it's missing there's your tuning knob and there's your off on so let's go ahead and just go ahead and turn this on shall we right about there should do it pull up the antenna now you want to see something really cool check this out the headlights come on when you open the hood check it out isn't that cool right now I'm on the AM band oh yeah and also the brake lights come on pretty cool huh All right, so I'm on the AM band. Let's go up the band here. I guess it'd be best for you guys to get just, there we go. Classic Beatles stance. Yeah, that's Nashville. I don't want to play too much because of copyright. top of the band try to turn this around maybe probably not going to get a whole lot in on the AM because of all the LEDs I got on here for lighting so I guess I could turn this one off at Nashville again. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Got my big LED plugged in, so it's not going to work. So let's pop the hood back open here. Turn this back on. We can get FM in. Now you can barely see that. This does go from 530, oops, 530 kilohertz to 1710. You can barely see that. I can barely see that. Anyway, let's go to FM. I'm pretty sure this is going to do much better. in me just gets to the point of insanity that people can't remain focused on the prize that exists out there or keep their eyes on the prize excuse me that exists out there and it's what I started the show on today okay got my eye on the prize it's right here Country station. Crack 
crappy country. Really shitty country. What the hell? Oh, I thought that was like a 60s song. It is! You destroyed a 60s song, you bastards. Second thing we have to do, though, is look at more regional trade. So, you know, when I think about the Africa Free Trade Continental Agreement that promises, you know, the promise of uniting the continent in trade, a market of over a billion people, um, it's very, very exciting. And Good luck on that. Because people don't like to be united for some reason. Well, they do when their team's winning or losing. It's all based on team structure. Bastards, you ruined 60s music. Anyway, the little beetle. Now, of course, I think what have made this tops would if they had like a little itty bitty BW sticker on that and one there, but I don't know why they didn't. I mean, it could have. It does take four AA batteries. Uh, here's the. Oh, the specs here. King America. New Beetle AM FM radio. 530 to 1710, 88 to 108. And it, oh, manufactured April of 2004. Cool. Made in China. <sighs> Trademarks, design, patents, and copyright. user within approval of the owner of Volkswagen AG. Neat. They also make Audi. Met a girl once named Audi. Nice girl, but, uh, huh. Anyway, this has been Leapin' Leppin' Wing a Ding Dong. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And, of course, if you do subscribe, make sure to ring that little bell. To get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Now, <clears throat> VW Westlife has had an interesting problem. Uh, his videos are not getting outside the subscriber range. I don't know if that's happening to me. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, if you do want to keep up on my videos, of course, like I said, subscribe. And, you know, ring, ring that little bell. And that will get you notifications. Yada, yada, yada. You guys know the game. You're not stupid. You got this. Well, anyway. Lippin' leppin', I'm outta here. See ya, folks, in the next video.